sound, sound. Your camera's ready to go. Call the tower and say we're gonna put something in the air. Hi, this is Bill Jones with Intermit Systems requesting permission to launch a weather balloon. Got data, we're looking good. Uh, I don't know, I think we're looking at about between 60,000 and 100,000 feet. Uh, so it's you know two to three times higher than, than you fly in an airliner. Uh, so it'll be cool. You'll be able to see the curvature of the Earth from up there. You know, okay. so that's going to be massively cool. Hey guys, how about we put five cameras in a in a hot air in a, a balloon and throw it up in 20 miles? And like, yeah, let's do it. How far? Up. Do we turn the cameras on? <laughs> it's kind of come up, and then it did a little bit of a corkscrew, and then it turned around, and it's gone another southeast. So it's kind of, you know, right now it's crossed over, off over six, and it's headed down course, you know, towards 131. So it's like. So hopefully we'll be able to see what the winds are here on the going up, take that in, figure out what it's going to do when it comes back down, and then get in the car and chase after this thing. We left the uh, we left the headquarters and it was eighty two thousand, and we're getting a phone call. Hello. Uh, got balloon burst. Balloon burst. Okay. Good. Uh, the elevation was about a hundred. 5,000 feet, which is really, really high. And, uh, I don't want you guys to panic, but um, it's, it's definitely heading towards the lake right now. <laughs> um, 6,000, 12, 12 minutes. So 124, at 1.36, it should touch down. Of the million pieces when it hits the ground. It is now crossing this road that we are on and headed into the right. 2.4, 2.3. Yep, in. Up ahead. Two kilometers remaining. Drive up here and let's hold. Five hundred and thirty-five meters. It's past us then. It's past us. It's that way. 84 meters. I see it, I see it right there. Right there. It's right over here. Oh, the trees. There's back behind it. Oh, hi, what? 208 meters. It's on the ground. Okay. It's in that field. We got field stop, back, stop, back behind here. Stop here. Let's talk to these guys here and see if we can... This is not probably their property. Oh. There's nothing like walking through what kind of is quicksand. <laughs> it's like every step you take sinks you a bit. Yep, put your head on a swivel. It's, I think I saw something right above us right up here. We thought that the package was in one of the branches, so I climbed up to try and shake it out, but uh, when I went up there, I saw that it's kind of more attached to the parachute, which is caught in this tree right here, so now I have to climb this tree. Luckily, it looks a little bit more climbable, and hopefully, I don't get any poison ivy on my face. I think I may have on this tree, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's worth it. It's for science. So now I'm going to hand it up to Kirk, and Kirk's going to take care of the rest. cameras for the right job they all came back can I tell you how happy I am that we have just gotten back fifteen hundred dollars worth of cameras number three's on number one's on so when Kirk cut the, <laughs> the line <laughs> the parachute and uh, radio almost hit me in the head um, yeah I just cut it <laughs> it's okay um, but besides that it's pretty successful I don't have to repurchase cameras for the next flight, <laughs> which is awesome. Even the radio came back.